Good afternoon, everyone. So nice to see you again. You meet me today with lecturer Gong Ting Eng for the new course, Core English for Year Two, Semester Two. Today, before we start in the book, we look at grammar first. Uh, unit seven. Uh, we look at, for example, perfect simple and for example, perfect continuous. Now. Let's uh, look at it. Present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. Present perfect simple form subject plus how has plus verb three. Everyone verb three here mean past participle. Example: She has read a book. She subject has read here read read is uh, verb three past participle. You don't you don't say read you say read read okay because this is verb three now present perfect continuous subject plus how has so this is how has plus been plus verb ing example she has been reading a book okay she has been reading a book so uh, let's continue uh, Number one, present perfect simple is used to talk about completed or finished action. Example, they have eaten their lunch, it's uh, finished, okay? So if you say they have eaten their lunch, it means finished, they don't eat now, they don't eat anymore now. But number two, present perfect continuous is you use is used to talk about incomplete or unfinished action. It means it not finished. Example, they have been eating their lunch. It means not finished yet. Now they still eating. So take note of the difference between present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. Okay, so present perfect, perfect simple finished, present perfect simple finished, and present perfect continuous not finished yet. Okay, one is complete, one is incomplete. Okay, all right. Number two, note that with non action verbs, state verbs, non action verbs, or state verbs such as know, understand, like, think, we only use present perfect simple. So with these verbs, with know, with understand, with like, and think, blah blah blah, we use only simple present perfect simple for example they have known each other for a year you cannot say they have been knowing wrong okay you must say they have known you must use present perfect simple okay it happened in the past and still continue but then this is said verbs okay you use present perfect simple one more we have not understood well about the lessons so also you use present perfect simple, understand, understood. Have you liked my food? Like, like your verb say, okay? Also present perfect simple. So with non accent verbs or state verbs, we only use present perfect simple, not present perfect continuous. Let's continue. Number three. However, with long accent verbs such as learn, live, wait, Blah 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 can be used both with present perfect simple and present perfect continuous with the same meaning. Okay, example number one: She has lived in Phnom Penh for two years, or she has been living in uh, Phnom Penh for two years. So these two sentences are the same. The first one, this one is present perfect simple, and this one is present perfect continuous. But you can use any of them, no problem. They are the same, okay? Number two, they have waited for you so long, or they have been waiting for you so long. So it is the same. The two, the two sentences are the same. There is no difference. You can use both present perfect simple or present perfect continuous. Okay, All right. So uh, thank you very much for today, everyone. This is the end. But uh, before I finish my video, I would like to uh, summarize about uh, what we learned. So uh, 
you learn about present perfect simple and present perfect continuous. Remember that present perfect simple is usually about the completed action or finished action, while present perfect continuous is about unfinished action, but with some long action verbs like live, like wait, like learn, you can use both present perfect simple or present perfect continuous with the same meaning. Okay, with the same meaning. It happened in the past and still continue with the same meaning. But with some non action verbs or with uh, state verbs like uh, understand, like, you can only use present perfect simple. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, please make five sentences about the present perfect simple and five more sentences about the present perfect continuous as your homework and send to me within this week. Thank you everyone, goodbye.